guys, it's Gamer, and today we are playing Pokemon TCGO once again, and this time I have another Ancient Origins deck for you guys, this one featuring the brand new Mega Tyranitar EX. Now, this guy's attack, it seems really good, but it's very hard to achieve and consistently do. It has high energy cost, the card is not great because of its high retreat cost, it can have two tools, but it's... Your dex is usually too stuffed to have that many tools that you're going to have two tools on Tyranitar all the time. So it just makes it even more susceptible to Team Flare tools like Jamming Net and Head Ringer. And even though you can achieve huge amounts of damage, but that's not necessary. And as I said before, it does have a high energy cost, so it's pretty hard to use. And you need to get those damage counters on your opponent, and there's no simple way of doing that. I mean, there's plenty of cards with abilities like Crobat, Fortress, um, you can just attack and move the damage counters around. There's many cards that can do that. It's just still pretty complicated if you don't get the right hand. And it's not the greatest card in my opinion. But I'll show you this deck list because some people think it has potential. And it does have some potential, I guess. But I really don't see it happening. I really don't. So, the... You can definitely try Forest Fortress with the ability to do 10 damage to all your opponent's Pokemon upon evolving. Or you can use the Bats from Phantom Forces, which do 20 damage when evolving into Bulbat, and 30 damage when evolving into Crobat, and you can choose which of your opponent's Pokemon to put that damage on. I've decided we're going to use Yveltal, so we attack for 30 damage, accelerating our Terminator, and then Absol to move those 3 damage counters, to other Pokemon, say, that we need to attack with Tyranitar when we need it. And we got Shaman for acceleration help, Hoopa to help us get the Tyranitar and Shaman if we need, Battle Compressors so we can get those energy into Discord Pile, but with all these Ultra Balls and Computer Search and Juniper, you can get those into Discard pretty easily, so you don't need more than one. And even if it's prized or not, completely screwed. It's still fine. Two Turbos to help charge up Mega Tyranitar, 3 Switch, 1 Tool Retriever to get rid of those Head Ringers and Jamming Nets if they are attached to you, um, 4 Ultra Ball, as I said, definitely need to get the Pokemon and Yveltal and Absol out, 3 VS Seeker, 2 AZ to get those Absol and Shaman a reuse, 2 Lysander, 4 and 4 Juniper, and then I have Team Magma Seeker Base, so when either player puts a Bench Pokemon, if it's not a Team Magma Pokemon, Onto your bench, you put two damage counters, and that is really helpful if you can get it out early. Even though it does damage your Pokemon, it's not much trouble because Tyranitar has a whopping 240 HP. It's more trouble for your opponent because now Tyranitar can one-hit knockout lots of Pokemon with 230 damage because of the two damage counters. And then we're adding Yveltal's and Absol's attack and abilities. Then I have EXP Share. It's a great card to run in this deck because you can take that second tool spot from Mega Tar, preventing jamming nets and headringers, and you can also get a basic energy card from a knocked out T-Tar and accelerate quick with Mega Turbo and then a double colorless and you're attacking that same turn with the T-Tar that didn't have any energies attached to it. It's pretty good, but it's still it's slow and it requires a lot of cards, so that's why I don't like T-Tar that much. Definitely the three spirit links so you don't lose your turn. One darkness energy, it's not that important. There's much better methods that need more cards to do the damage because this guy needs to take damage first to do the damage to the attacking Pokemon and it's only for EXs, so it's not the greatest anyway, and it's not even as good as a Rocky Helmet, so it's definitely not worth it. I mean, it's good to have one, it does come in handy sometimes, but it's not really important. 3 DCE, you could run 4, but I think it's more important to get those Darkness Energies in the discard pile, accelerate them with Yveltal and Abs and, um, my bet, um, Mega Turbo. It's better to have more darkness energies than colorless. Because you wouldn't you can't attach colorless to Yveltal. So it's definitely better. So there's my deck list. Let's go try it out. I've tried this deck out plenty of times and I don't like it. I've said that multiple times, but I'll repeat it. Even with Dark Patch, it's not the greatest. I don't know what the problem with the deck is, it's hard to get the damage counters on it, it relies on so many factors going right, and 
there isn't really an easy way to adjust to a situation that happened. So you start off with the Shaman. I do have switches in there for the Titars, huge amounts of retreat costs. So we're not in a bad spot. We got the Stadium out early. Um, we don't really need Mega Turbo and XP share. But we do get Ultra Ball. Even though we start with Shaman, we're alright since we can. We can even reuse the Shaman with an AZ by getting it from the computer search. So we're in a good spot. So let's see what deck the opponent is playing. Medina starts with a Pikachu, so it looks like he's going to be running Raichu. Put that Team Magma secret pace down. And it's really important to get Yveltal turn one. So I'm going to get that Yveltal. Bench it. Switch. I should have played I should have uh, put this at the end of my turn. That was a small mistake. But two damage counters. It could make the difference for a knockout and not. Okay, immediately he plays Counter Stadium and kind of... So it does play the end, helping me a bit. But I did have that computer search, so... If, so this is not a bad hand, I must say. But we still have no way to discard any regular Darkness Energies. But we do have that T-Tar we needed and Double Colorless Energy. So we're in, a, we're in a decent spot here. So I'm going to see what he does. He's definitely... Okay, he gets out the Shaman EX. Shamans are everywhere nowadays. And there's another one. So now he has six cards in his hand. And we're waiting to see. He's going to put the DCE, Double Colors Energy, on Pikachu. But doesn't look like he has a Raichu to evolve. I don't even think he can evolve since it is only turn two. But a Wally would allow him to. Alright, um, he gets lucky and I can't attack this turn, which is pretty disappointing, but at the same time, I'm pretty alright. Okay, do the head ring. I'm gonna go with Mega Titar. Definitely. Well, I think, do I even have a battle compressor? It might be prized. Yeah, so the Battle Compressor's prize. So Mega T-Tar. So next turn. We'll see what he plays. Um, he could play another end, kind of screw me up. But I really should have... I might, uh... It might have been better for me just to get another Team Magma secret base. Because not only is it, um... Knocking out his counter stadium, if you know what I mean. Can't use Skyfield. It acts as a counter stadium, but it also does what I need to get those damage counters on the bench Pokemon. So it might have been more important the T-Tar because I could just draw on one and I have three in my deck. So it does get the Shaman. Only going for two cards, so it looks like he's having a rough time getting a supporter. Hmm. Did get lucky getting the Mega Ray and a Spirit Link and the Mega Ray. But it doesn't look like he is a supporter anyway. Oh, he does have Winona. It's not the biggest help, but it's definitely going to get him some Rays and Shays. Or Shamins. If you're not as lazy as I am. Oh, he, I, did I not see a Shaman? I thought I saw two Rays and a Mega Ray. If I was correct. Yeah, I did see a Mega Ray. I really thought he would get a Shaman so he could just get a new hand. And, oh, VS Seeker. Alright. He's gonna end. Let I don't know. He, yeah. Doesn't have a Juniper in the discard. So he's gonna attack me with Tail Whip. And I do. He does flip tails this time. So we're gonna attach those two tools to Titar. Um. Let's keep Absol. And I still have nothing in the discard. So I'm just gonna attach this to Titar. And this is strictly for damage purposes only now. So next turn, I'll knock out his only Raichu. But his main attacker is Mega Ray, but he's struggling here. And N is actually going to help me since I have so many supporters, I'd have to just discard it. Or I could just play Shame. Okay. Nice hand. I can start attacking with T-Tar, but the problem is Yveltal hasn't done its job. See how hard it is to get those damage counters? I mean... 
if if um I played that stadium, maybe all of these Pokemon would have two damage counters on them. But still, I think they he would have just played another Skyfield since all right, Megaphone. It's kind of um it's actually not too bad because no longer have the Spear Link, so I can double up on XP XP share. But that's just silly. Perfectly fine. It's a it's a detrimental tool card or item card. It slows me down a bit, but it's all right. So we are seeing a Mega Ray attack. See how fast it accelerates, and it's just attacking from zero to a hundred right here. And it's a Mega too, but Titar takes forever for some reason. Not only that, but I have no way of getting damage counters on. On Mega Ray, and that's pretty dang sad. I should have benched that Yveltal before. That was a mistake, but I'm gonna do this. So hopefully he's gonna have to attack me. And oh well, either way, it doesn't make much of a difference. So next time he attacks me, that Pokemon will have damage counters on them. So I do draw on the DCE, which is pretty good for my Mega Titar benched here. Still has a Spirit Link, but still no sign of Mega Titar. But I've got plenty of cards in my deck to shuffle through. And he's going for the one hit knockout, but currently six Pokemon on the bench equals only 180 damage. So he's going to need two more Pokemon on the bench to knock me out. And that's a full Sky Fielded bench. So is he going to go for the Winona? No, he goes for the N. Alright, I do get an Absol, which is pretty handy. Because I can just move three damage counters to this right Pikachu. Not right, not yet. Alright, he does do 180. And that's pretty good. Energy to T-Tar. I'm just gonna do all these Ultra Balls gone. I don't need that T-Tar. Oh, well. Yeah, I think I need the T-Tar. Let's get him. Love this guy. Absol. Yes, from this guy to this guy. So I am taking three prizes in a turn here, which is pretty awesome. Battle compressor, not necessary. Let's knock out this Mega Ray for seven hand damage. That's the only reason I love this deck. It's a crazy rogue deck. And, uh, well, it's not rogue necessarily. That's the wrong use of the word. It's a crazy fun deck, yeah. And it does damage like flipping nuts. It just did 710 damage. Because this attack is kind of really overpowered if Pokemon had that much HP. But no, they do not. And it does, it only, only requires a simple, less, sim much more simple attack. So Mega Ray, 30 damage times the number of your bench po Okay. So he has 220 HP. And I attacked him for 110 and moved three. So imagine if I hit him, it would be kind of tricky to pull that off. But if he has 210 damage, or let's say it's a Wailord. If he has 240 damage on it, or 24 damage counters, 24 times 60, that's not, that's a huge, that's like more than a thousand, and that, that's like, Imagine, and then you add the Vileplume with four times weakness. You can hit for a lot of damage with Titar, but definitely not breaking the maximum. Oh, well, maybe actually, but it doesn't seem like it. All right, let's bench this. You felt so. Um, I don't really. All right, I I have to select one, so I'm gonna do one. Um, I'm gonna go for the Juniper. It's kind of mostly useless to me. I am gonna play the secret base and this and uh, no I really shouldn't can I undo that yes I still can so next turn I can do but now he knows so blah if you know what I mean but he is gonna take a prize and that might be really detrimental because he could just get another ray up on his bench but I do have a Lysander. That's a big help. 
Skyfield kind of expected. He did a dumb move and benched the Ray before the before playing the stadium. So, ugh. Team Magma Secret Pace isn't that bad actually. Now I'm starting to think of it, but. How many damage counters do you spe see spread around with it? I mean, Mega Ray needs a lot of Skyfield, and it needs, it has to have, you know, all of these, so it can get that damage it needs to knock out EXs. So I guess this deck doesn't count much, but it's definitely a huge deck in the meta, so of course it counts, but if you, if you know what I mean, other decks don't play as many stadiums, and it's not as important to them. It's mostly as counter stadiums for a small added bonus, but this stadium is crucial to this entire deck. So if I had that many Team Magma Seeker bases out, I might get lucky there and actually spread damage counters all around. But I'm still not in love with this deck idea at all. I know it's not the greatest stand. It won't be. But it could turn into something pretty good. But it's not the greatest. No way. No way this is better than Mega Ray. No way. So he does not give Eltel out, as expected. And we're gonna see the Titar. Hmm. Now, double colorless. Not gonna lie, Sander. No way. He could get this guy ready next turn. That's what I'm worried about. Mega Titar, you're a bulky guy. He needs a full bench to do it. And I'm going to keep that Lysandre. 410. And I do get a Mega Titar. Pretty awesome. So, And I do have another double color. So, yeah, I, I, I would say this is definitely another double, enough double colorless in your deck. Because you're not going to set up more than three Titars. There's no way. So, Trainer's Mail... He's hoping for something helpful there, but he does switch into the Raichu. It is free retreat, so I would do the same, because you definitely, whenever you're in confusion about what card to put out, just put a card out with free retreat, and then you can choose any of your bench Pokemon, or even keep that one out, because if he gets a DCE, Raichu is probably his best option. It's not like, It wouldn't help Mega Ray at all right now. It would, he would have enough energy to attack, but he doesn't seem to have the cards he needs to become a Mega Ray. So he's going to take this slow and steady, but the fact that he made that one single mistake with our stadium is going to cost him the game. And I'm still not worried about that, because Handy Danny Switch, important, three of them, four retreat cost, you're going to need it, definitely. So I'm surprised we won this one. We're going to give him a big, fat, large, juicy G. G. Ah, I've lowercase. Too lazy to press caps. Hi, Sandre, for the Mega Ray. GG, mate. We have won. I guess sometimes T-Tar is good. This deck, it's strange. I have mixed feelings about it, but we won against a good Mega, Mega Ray deck. So maybe this deck is something, if you put enough effort into it and make the right deck list it could become something i'm definitely not shutting it down so guys hope you enjoyed this video please leave a like subscribe do whatever i really don't care it really helps so thanks for watching all the way up to here and see you guys next time